how your story becomes your purpose. This is Philip Mountrose, my wife and partner. We help people step up, tap into the heart and soul with holistic and spiritual coaching and healing. In this short video, I want to explore your journey, your life, your purpose, and how it can become a heroic one. You may never have thought of this. Your life could become a hero's journey in your own way, of course. Uh, it, you can be the author of your own life. Why not? Uh, what prevents you? What stops you? What gets in the way? Well, maybe you haven't thought of the possibility that you could become a hero. Who, me, Philip? I mean, how would I be a hero of my own life? Well, <laughs> if you go on that route, you will discover how. And what stops you from the get-go is maybe you didn't recognize it, never considered it because of programming. What your culture told you, what your family told you, who you were and who you could be and what is possible for you. And that might be told you from generation to generation or even lifetime to lifetime it might be actually what your soul is here to explore and discover this wonderful journey you can have if you awaken and choose it uh, so there's those limiting beliefs and uh, some of those limiting mindsets uh, is called self-management by Sarah Payton a neuro scientist, educator, and author. And she has some categories which I think will help some limiting mindsets and I will provide some ways to overcome them. Here are some categories to open your mind to uh, finding your own heroic story, shifting your story. Comparison. Everyone else has figured it out versus I can take steps to get clarity and get help too. Proving ourselves wrong. I should have healed by now. I'm 50 years old versus I've made progress and can continue to improve. Verbal self-abuse, I'm so stupid or I'm so whatever, clumsy, uh, versus I know I can do certain things, I value myself. Blaming others. This all happened because they did whatever, whatever victim story, whatever they did to you, versus yes, this may be challenging, but I can find ways to empower myself. Now, all of these self-management uh, challenges, which can be converted, as I suggested, uh, all come down to one thing, which is shame. Something's wrong with me. I'm a failure. It's a permanent stain. I can't get rid of it. Out damn spot. But it's false. It's illusory. It's not true. It's certainly not your soul. It's a mistaken identity. So what can you do about it? How can you shift from these limiting beliefs to an empowering a purposeful, soulful life with your own hero's journey. Well, uh, let me give you a story, an illustration from one of our students, Christy, uh, who is in our holistic coaching and healing program. One of the processes she, she did helped her with her relationship with her brother. Now, Christy, 50 years of age, has been struggling with her brother, uh, and if she would suggest, uh, say, a positive suggestion, maybe to help him find a job or keep a job, for example, he would become very defensive and yell at her. Uh, and of course, she felt very defeated and wounded by it. So uh, this went on for years, of course. And in the process, she soulfully found a wonderful image of a dove in her heart, a beautiful divine image which uplifted and transformed her. And she really changed. And next time when she was with her brother, then she uh, held a loving space for him. Now, we can't necessarily, or we can't change someone else by what we do directly, but we can have a positive influence. And even if he's having these erratic, uh, destructive behaviors, she can still be in a loving space. And that really empowered herself, and she felt strong and wonderful because of it, and more caring and compassionate and effective and self-empowered. So how can you be like Christy, upgrade your story? And maybe you're already doing wonderfully well right now, but perhaps you could do better and be more heroic. Uh, one way is where you feel flagging, where you feel defeated, maybe with relationships or money, say. Uh, find an exception. Yes, maybe you've struggled with money or relationships, but that one time you were good with money. Uh, you were good with relationships. Remember that. Use that as a building block. You can empower. 
I can value myself. I can find ways of becoming better in relationships and money. I can create, craft a better story. It's a different outlook. It's empowering. It's empowering belief, which can ripple out into your daily life and uh, your attitude and awareness. So in final thoughts, you can change your self-talk, change your awareness, which will change your behavior. And then uh, you will be more purposeful, more intentional in the way you live your life. You won't just be going through the motions. You know that you matter. Uh, you can take inspired action. Uh, you can overcome obstacles. And that way you become, uh, you go from being a wandering generality to a meaningful specific, as Zig Ziglar once said. And that's a wonderful thing. Uh, to be living on purpose, to knowing you do make a difference because you do, and that ripples out. Everything is different then. A life becomes more wonderful and it has an impact on everyone you meet and touch, uh, starting with yourself. You can do it. Go for it.